Good morning, Eastview. I'm Ibrahim. And I'm Keon. And welcome back to The Forecast. Hey, Keon, want to hear a joke? The, pack of, the Packers offensive line has more holes than all the Swiss cheese they make over there. That's what I call a cheesy joke. You know, the joke is funny because Wisconsinites are known as cheeseheads. Keon, be quiet. We actually have a story on the heated rivalry between the Vikings and Packers later on the show, so stay tuned. Students interested in badminton, there will be an informational meeting tomorrow, Friday before school, at 7.15 in C250. Bring a friend. Badminton is fun. The Eastview chapter at the Eastview uh, NAHS will have its next meeting on Thursday, October 26. Members should have their collaborative art pieces finished and ready to lay, out, and hang. New members are welcome. All boys hockey players planning on trying out this season for hockey, please attend the meeting later today at 4 p.m. in room C350. You know, man, I'm really sick and tired of doing chores around the house, and I, I kind of wish I had a, a... A robot? Yeah, a robot. I wish I could have all... <laughs> I wish I could have a robot that can do all the chores for me. Well, you might be in luck. Today we were fortunate enough to have the robotics team in the studio to talk a little bit more about the team. Here's Valeria with the interview. Hey, it's you, it's Valeria, and I'm here with two members of the robotics team. Um, can you say your name, please? My name's Advika. My name's Tia. Uh, so what's happening in robotics right now? So we're just getting started with our season. Our next meeting is Thursday, November 2nd at 6 o'clock p.m. Come if you're interested. Uh, why should people join robotics? It's really fun, and it's a great way to make new connections. Also, if you're interested in STEM, it's a really good way to try engineering and creating a robot. But if you're not into that, you can join Marcom, which does business and kind of marketing for STEM. What have you learned about robotics? Um, I learned coding. I'm a coder, so it's pretty fun. And I also made a lot of new friends. So, yeah. Anything else? You guys should join Marcom. Thank you for coming in. Back to the anchors. Wow. I might have to join robotics to learn how to build my robot. Ibrahim, you know what I truly wish for every night, man? What? I want to see my Vikings finally win a Super Bowl. You know, if the Vikings ever won a Super Bowl, I would probably sell my own house. I'll hold you on that bet. But speaking of football, are you excited for the big Vikings-Packers game coming up? You know me, man. Nothing gets me more pumped up than the annual Vikings-Packers game. We went around ECU asking students about which one of the teams they prefer, and there's even a sweet surprise for all the students that participated. Here's the story. What's going on, ECU? I'm Vashir. As you know, this Sunday, the Vikings and the Packers are going to be playing. So we went around ECU asking people who they got winning, the Vikings or the Packers. Let's go. Vikings or Packers? That's an easy question. Vikes, man. Vikings or Packers? Packers. Because they're better. Vikings or Packers? Vikings. And why? Because number 18 and number 2 are tough. We decided to get a little more scientific and vote with cookies. Vikings or Packers? Vikings. Vikings or Packers? Vikings. Take a... Alright, Vikings or Packers? Vikings. <laughs> Vikings or Packers? Vikings. Vikings or Packers? Vikings, duh. Vikings or Packers? Vikings. <laughs> Vikings or Packers? Vikings. Vikings or Packers? Packers. All right, Vikings or Packers? Vikings. <laughs> Vikings or Packers? Vikings. 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 I got the Vikings. Vikings. As you can see, everybody chose the Vikings. Nobody really likes the Packers, man. Wow, it's really cool to see how all the students support the Vikings team. I mean, it's truly amazing how... Kiel, what are you doing? Go Vikings! Before we let you go today, we have our Four Things segment by Eva Zimmerman. Take it away, Eva. 
Thank you, Kian and Ibrahim. To start things off, the boys and girls cross country team will be raying over the course at sections and they will do great. Good luck, Bolts. On Saturday, the ACT test will be being held in the second academic wing. Good luck to anyone, anyone who's taking it, they will do great. And the band concert is tonight at six. If you wanna go show support, show up at the Performing Arts Center. Last but not least, mark your calendars. On November 8th, the community orchestra will be will be performing here at Eastview and they will be performing their winter concert for no, no cost at all actually. So if you want to come show support, feel free to come on down. That's all from me, back to the anchors. That's all we got for today Eastview. Make sure to smash that like button and smash that Shut subscribe. up, man. Okay. We'll see you next time for a Halloween special on... The, the Forecast. Forecast.